Okay, data mining pro group project. This is what we have is a scenario of how data mining can actually be used to answer real life business questions. What we have for today is that uh, we are, it's called upmarket restaurant investment. So we have a client, we have a client uh, who is actually looking to invest in a restaurant uh, in the city of Toronto. So uh, what happens is that, from what we know so far, that 60% of new restaurants fail within one year and 80% will usually close within five years. And the payback period is, is be usually between 18 to 36 months depending on the, on the money you're making. So that is actually how, how long it will take for you to actually make your money back when you open a, a, a new restaurant. So the, so the city that we are looking at, where the client is looking at to open a restaurant is Toronto. Toronto has a size of 5,903 square kilometers, which is a little bit smaller than the Greece Milan. And it has a population of 6.346 million, and this is actually six times more than the Greece Milan. So you can imagine, the Greece Milan has six times its, its, its population, and we can actually imagine how 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 many people actually actually live within that area. So it, within that area itself, there are eight thousand plus restaurants and eateries. And what is unique about Toronto is that it's a city of immigrants. The breakdown is that there are a lot of Asians in uh, in Toronto, and this point is actually going to be uh, important later on. So the objective here is that we are supposed to help our client identify the type of restaurant that they can invest in and also find an ideal location of where this restaurant should be in Toronto. So the data that we will be using comes from Yelp. Okay, so, so we have downloaded data. We are using two different, two different listings. It's two different data sets. One is uh, called business listings and the, and the other is a preview listings. Business listings has 174,567 rows, while the review listings is a uh, 5 million plus rows. And, and both of them contains a business ID, which is the key to actually connect them together. And this is uh, an example of, of business listings. And what is, what I would like to point out is that the review count and the, and the stars count. These are the two columns that we are very, very interested in. So this is the review listings, as you can see, and, and these are reviews, and this is the business ID. The business ID will, will be connected to the, the business listings. All right. Okay, so uh, this is the process flow of getting the required data that we will analyze. So we start with data acquisition, which which is we took it from Yelp, and then we go to data pre-processing where we run the normalization and to remove whatever unnecessary data and rep uh, repetitive data, and then from the EDA we will analyze um, the required data set for our objective which help uh, our client to identify which restaurant they want to choose. And then we'll use NLP as uh, the main area for us to, uh, to come up with positive and negative review on each uh, restaurant type for let our client to choose what is the best in Toronto. And then we'll run data mining to get our result on the suitable restaurant category for our client and from there we will uh, get our reporting which uh, will analyze and finalize to help our client to choose which are the best restaurant to open at Toronto. So from here, from the EDA, we, what we have get from Yelp.com, we can see that um, there are more data which is uh, available on four 3.5 to 4.5 stars 
we are not looking at 4.5 and 5.0 uh, stars which they have a quite good number of review except the 5 stars because they are established and well known which is not suitable for a new restaurant to uh, compare or come up with so from here we will look on uh, 1 to 3.5 stars that is the average value for us to analyze the positive and negative comments <coughs> that uh, most of them have portrayed to help us to uh, to come up with the best uh, best category which will help our client to choose what business they're gonna start with so yeah NLP so uh, this is the one star reviews of the restaurant so what we have did like as it's it has been spoken before we are not going to suggest our client any kind of restaurants uh, that is within four to five stars because the competition is already high in that tone so what we are trying to do is that like we are going to analyze reviews for one star two star and three star uh, <coughs> restaurants and then we are going to see which would be suitable for our clients to do the business in. so this is the uh, review data for the one star restaurant for our one star restaurant and we have uh, as you can see here we did the sentiment we categorized we categorize uh, we categorize the reviews into positives and negatives so this one is for the one star restaurant here is the graph this graph depicts the number of negative and positive reviews for the one star restaurants okay so here we have one two three four five actually you're gonna see here but we will we'll get back to that these are uh, categorized this axis actually contains the year and this is uh, the number of uh, the number of negative or positive reviews that we got so in 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 this in this one sort this is actually based on the highest number of reviews we got in the one star domain so this restaurant had the highest number of review count in the one star domain which is only 15 so in 2013 the number of uh, negative review was the highest in 2014 positive was highest and negative was low in 2015 here we don't have any review so we might just conclude that like in 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 this uh in this year for this particular restaurants customer didn't bother to give any reviews maybe uh, it wasn't good enough for any kind of review to have so in 2016 we just had uh, positive reviews no negative reviews and finally in 2017 it's uh, there's no reviews so this is the review data which we have categorized and this is for a two-star restaurant so we have neutral positive positive okay let's go and let's explore okay here we have uh, positive reviews positive reviews in first two years which is 13 and 40 uh which is uh yeah 14 and 15 and then in 16 it went low the positives went low and then in 2007 it's lower so this is a burger chain uh in based on toronto okay this is two star and they have reviews of like uh around 300 review count we have in here this is a three star restaurant i mean like uh this this restaurant had three star reviews so here we categorize this like the previous ones into negative and positive uh here we have the plots for this one so this is the one which interest uh which we were interested more which we had most interest in to suggest our client for the business so let's take a look at it in 2013 the number of positive reviews was the highest 2014 
Uh, actually, no, it starts with 2012. 2012, it's the highest. 2013, it went low. 2014, a bit better than the previous year. 2015, goes low. 16, lower. 17, lowest. So, this is a Asian fusion restaurant, which is a noodles bar. So, they were doing business like they were making foods for Korean, Japanese, all these big Asian foods. So, from the trend, we can see that like gradually from 2014 onwards, the number of positive reviews are going down, going down. And uh, the number of reviews are also good. It had almost like 800 reviews. So what we, well, why, why did we choose uh, this, this particular restaurant to suggest to our client? That's because like, as you can see in those previous, previous trends, we can see that the number of reviews are low and then the business were running out but this one the reviews are good so that means that like people are reacting people are still going to do this kind of restaurants so well whereas the in in previous one the number of reviews are low so people didn't bother to review those so here people are actively going into this kind of restaurants so finally we choose to suggest this Asian fusion restaurant and also another fact is that at the beginning we saw that like in Toronto, 40% of the population are Asian. So we think that like this this kind of restaurant for business would be a good venture. This is what we were suggesting to do in the future. We would like to implement in our project. It's like based based on the reviews we were trying to extract what 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 topic were they talking about in the reviews so this is a lexicon that we were going to uh, build ourselves in the future which will be appended in the future we would like to build ourselves so these lexicon these words are based on service industry like restaurants or something like that so we had like four categories that we wanted to build which is good food good service bad food bad service so these are the words that would be like frequently used so using these words against the review if we get a match we would probably try to find like what topic were they talking about in the reviews like was it was it let's say for example tasty so if a review review had the count most for tasty or something like that if, if it had a match with tasty that means like the food was tasty they were talking about the food something like that the food was good if it was about the service, the neat, smart, these are words associated with services. So that means like it's a good service. The restaurant had good service on night. So this is something we were planning to do in future. Uh, a lexicon that we want we want to build to better our analysis. Well, uh, now I'm going to talk about the location as this is our objectives to provide information on location as well. So we can see the map, it, it depicts the four star and 4.5 stars restaurants. The blue dot defines the four star and the, four point, uh, the black dot defines the 4.5 stars. And uh, we wanted to know what is the suitable location. And we found that this location has, uh, whatever the restaurants we come up with uh, data, it has more reviews, more positive reviews and consistent reviews as well. So <clears throat> that's why we wanted to uh, come up with uh, uh, come up with the decision that this place will be a suitable place for invest and uh, some sort of the restaurant types, which will be uh, our client will be work on. So the type of restaurants we found that Asian fusion would be a good choice for them to invest in and the location as I already described is downtown Toronto and the city centre would be a perfect choice for them. So thank you everyone.